ओके सो दिस इज द कंटेंट ऑफ मोल कॉन्सेप्ट विच वे आर गोइंग टू लर्न इन दिस सीरीज सो इन दिस वे आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फर्स्ट पॉइंट परसेंटेज कॉम्पोजिशन एम्बेरिकल फॉर्मूला एंड मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दीज थिंग्स बिकॉज दिस इज ईजी कॉन्सेप्ट आई एम टेकिंग दिस फर्स्ट सो आफ्टर दिस विल गो टू गे लो सैक्स लॉ कम्बाइनिंग वॉल्यूम्स अवगार रोज लॉ एंड देन मोल एंड इट्स रिलेशन विद मोलार मास मोलार वॉल्यूम एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स एट्सेट्रा ओके सो देन स्टार्ट विथ परसेंटेज कॉम्पोजिशन स्ट्रेट अवे राइट द फॉर्मूला परसेंटेज ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इन अ मॉलिक्यूल परसेंटेज कॉम्पोजिशन टेल्स अस अबाउट इफ यू टेक एनी कंपाउंड से फॉर एग्जाम्पल कॉपर सल्फेट सो हाउ मच परसेंट ऑफ कॉपर इज देयर इन दिस मॉलिक्यूल हाउ मच परसेंट ऑफ सल्फर इज देयर हाउ मच परसेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज देयर सो दैट विल बी गिवन बाई दिस फॉर्मूला परसेंटेज कॉम्पोजिशन सो हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेटेड परसेंटेज ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इन अ मॉलिक्यूल इज इक्वल टू टोटल वेट ऑफ द एलिमेंट इन वन मॉलिक्यूल you have to take total weight divided by total molecular weight of the compound multiplied by 100 you will get the percentage composition let's take an example and understand calculate the percentage composition of various elements in sodium carbonate and don't worry they always give you the atomic masses oxygen 16 sodium 23 carbon 12 first point first point what you have to do find the molecular mass of the molecule what is that sodium carbonate how do you find this you will just count the number of atoms multiplied by their atomic mass so here sodium how many atoms two what is atomic mass 23 plus carbon one so just 12 into 1 is 12 plus oxygen 3 into 16 so if you calculate this you will get the answer 106 okay so from this you have to find the percentage of second or next point is percentage of each element okay percentage of sodium is equal to total mass of sodium total mass of sodium is how much 23 into 2 right 46 divided by molecular weight of the molecule into 100 so if you do this you will get the value around 43.4% so next third point what you will do you will find the percentage of carbon right so carbon total 12 divided by 106 into 100 so if you calculate this uh, you will get approximately how much here 11.3% okay so last one what you have to find percentage of uh, oxygen so there are three atoms into 16 48 divided by 106 106 in 200 you have to do so then uh, you will get uh, 45.3% so that's it let's take another question find the percentage mass of water in washing soda crystals so here washing soda crystal some formula is sodium carbonate 10h2o you just have to find what is the mass of water very simple concept you can try it yourself sodium atomic mass 23 carbon 12 oxygen 16 hydrogen 1 so first thing what you have to find find the molecular mass of sodium carbonate dot 10h2o okay so already you know how to calculate this so if you calculate that you will get the mass molecular mass as 286 so percentage of water here you have to find here water is not a uh, element but it is a molecule you can find the same you can use the same formula here percentage of water so total mass of water molecular mass of water is how much you just take water hydrogen 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 plus 16 oxygen so total 18 how many molecules of hydro water are there 10 so 10 into 18 is 180 divided by so this is 180 divided by total molecular weight is 286 into 100 so if you do this and calculate you will get approximately 62.9% this question was asked in 2017 Find the percentage of water of crystallization in copper sulfate, 
pentahydrate. Atomic masses, everything is given. So just find the percentage of water crystallization what we did in the previous example. So pause the video, try to find it. I'm going to give you the answer. So your answer should be so percentage of water you should get 36 percent okay fine next come to the empirical formula so now what is empirical formula empirical formula is very simple say one example i will take hydrogen peroxide h2o2 so this is the actual molecular formula right if you get a simplest ratio among the combining atoms what are the combining atoms hydrogen and oxygen what is the actual ratio 2 is to 2 so this is actual ratio will give us molecular formula if you get a simple ratio between these two 2 to means you can divide it by 2 so you will get 1 is to 1 so you will get the formula ho so ho you call it as empirical formula ef means empirical formula so what is actual ratio one which gives us actual ratio the formula is called as molecular formula that's it so empirical formula for compound gives us the simplest ratio among the combining atoms so now try to tell me what are the molecule okay what are the empirical formula of c6 h12 o6 what is the empirical formula pause Okay, so you have to find simplest ratio among the elements C H2 O. So this is the empirical formula of glucose. If I take acetic acid C H3 C O O H. So if I ask you what is the empirical formula of this one, don't have confusion. You first find you combine all the same atoms together. So you can write it like this C2. There are two carbon, hydrogen 4 are there, so H4 oxygen 2 are there O2 so now you can write the simplest ratio among the atoms C H2 O so again the empirical formula of acetic acid is C H2 O very simple okay but what they will ask you in the exam or what kind of problems will come on this is they will give us percentage composition and ask to find the empirical formula see here a zinc 47.8 percent chlorine 52.2 percent so always what you have to do is draw this kind of table where you are going to write what elements are given see first three columns already the things are given person element percentage composition atomic masses these all three will already be given okay zinc and chlorine percentages given atomic masses will be given next you have to find atomic ratio so how do you find atomic ratio is you will take percentage composition 47.8 and divide it by the atomic mass 65 for each and every element chlorine 52.2 divided by 35.5 so find it so calculation is important here you will get 0 0.73 here 1.46 this is called as atomic ratio okay next you have to find the simplest ratio how do you find simplest ratio among the atomic ratio values you have to choose the smallest number here 0 0.73 1.46 0 0.73 is the smallest number so you have to divide every atomic ratio value by the same smallest number it means here 0 0.73 divided by 0 0.73 again 1.46 divided by 0 0.73 if there is one more element again that also you will divide by 0 0.73 if that is the smallest one so here you will get one here you will get two always simplest ratio should be whole number remember if it is you know 1.02 like that you just round it off to one but don't round it off if it is coming like 2.5 1.5 like this kind of thing do not round off so we'll take one example of that kind and we'll see what you have to do in that case okay so once you got these values what this gives us simplest ratio the number of atoms so zinc one atom chlorine two atoms so molecular sorry empirical formula is zncl2 okay so question b is there you can note it down what i have given here 
these are the atomic masses below so note it down try it yourself pause it i'm going to tell you the answer here now okay once you solve it then only see the answer important question very very important an organic compound has oxygen 26.24 percent and hydrogen 4.92 percent find its empirical formula here first you have to see that it is an organic compound right organic okay organic but they have given hydrogen and oxygen percentages 26.24 and uh, 4.92 always percentage means if you add them you should get 100 so but if you add these two check how much you are getting uh, 4 to 6 1 uh, 1 31.16 right but it is not 100 percent so then there is one more element present always remember organic compound means there should be every organic compound contains which element carbon so carbon should be present in that therefore you have to find the percentage of carbon how you will find it you just you have added these two just subtract them by 100 so percentage of carbon is equal to 100 minus 31.16 so if you do it you will get 68.84 percent now you got the percentages everything for all the three elements next what you have to do put the table so atomic ratio 68.84 divided by 12 so this will 14 4.92 by 1 means 4.92 this will be 26.24 divided by 16 so if i do this uh 5.74 this is 4.92 this is 1.64 okay out of these three 1.64 is the smallest number so divide all the atomic ratios by 1.64 here 5.74 divided by 1.64 4.92 by 1.64 1.64 by 1.64 this is one this is three this will be 3.5 now you got 3.5 so you have to multiply all these numbers by two to make this all the atoms or this simplest ratio as whole number okay so when you do this you will get the formula c7h6o2 you can't simply multiply carbon because that will distort the number of hydrogen and oxygen you will not get the correct ratio so you have to multiply all the simplest ratio by the two okay if even if it is 1.5 or 2.5 then also you do the same thing multiply it by two and make the whole number okay that's the simple thing so this one you can try it yourself this question was asked in 2018 percentages given next comes molecular formula so as already told you actual ratio between the atoms will be given by molecular formula so how do you find molecular formula always you have to first find empirical formula multiplied by n what is n here n is the some number here which is obtained by dividing the molecular weight by the empirical formula weight molecular weight by empirical formula weight so here a compound is found to possess carbon 40 percent hydrogen 6.7 percent oxygen 53.3 percent its molecular mass 60 find molecular formula so first what do you do put that table find the empirical formula okay that all procedure you have to do so once you get empirical formula then what you have to find next empirical formula weight because you want n molecular weight which is already given which is 60 correct okay empirical formula i'm going to write, tell you the answer now so please stop uh, pause the video and try it yourself so here carbon okay empirical formula was ch2o so you find empirical formula weight you just add the atomic masses carbon 12 plus 2 plus 16 you will get it 30 so you have to molecular weight is 60 so n is equal to molecular weight divided by empirical formula weight you will get n is equal to 2 now how you will get the molecular formula multiply empirical formula so molecular formula is n times empirical formula so n is 2 empirical formula is ch2o so always you have to multiply the subscripts okay 
सो मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला विल बी सी टू एच फोर ओ टू सी टू ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन फाइन दिकल फॉर्मूला एंड मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड कार्बन परसेंटेज हाइड्रोजन परसेंटेज हाइड्रोजन परसेंटेज आर गिवन बट हियर द ट्विस्ट इज दे हैव नॉट गिवन अबाउट द मोलिकुलर वेट सो यू कॉन्ट फाइन द एन वैल्यू बट हियर यू हैव टू नोट डाउन वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला मोलिकुलर मास इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स वेपर डेंसिटी vapor density value they have given here what is vapor density and all we'll see later okay once we go into deep into mole concept so this formula will help you to find molecular mass so 2 into 39.5 right so if you do this you will get the molecular mass as 79 so now we got molecular mass find empirical formula find empirical formula weight right molecular mass is there find the n i'm going to tell you the answer empirical formula you should get is c5 h5 n okay so if you find its molecular mass sorry its empirical formula weight you will get it 79 only because molecular weight and the empirical formula weight are same so you will get n is equal to 1 therefore this will be same as the molecular formula so in this case empirical formula and molecular formula both are c5 h5 n okay so next question this one also very simple here what is the change 3.5 gram of nitrogen combines with 2 gram of oxygen to form an oxide of nitrogen what is its empirical formula they have not given us percentage composition so first you have to find percentage of both nitrogen and percentage of oxygen how you find they have given each mass and total mass is how much to 3.5 and plus 2 5.5 so percentage of this will be 3.5 divided by 5.5 into 100 the oxygen will be 2 divided by 5.5 into 100 so obviously once you get the percentage composition you can do as usual put the table and find the empirical formula no need to find the molecular formula here they have not asked anything okay i'm going to tell you the answer for this you should get uh for this final answer you should get n2o nitrous nit dinitrogen oxide okay or nitrous oxide fine so this one uh, different kind of question here here uh, write the formula of crystalline sulfate okay on heating copper sulfate crystals so it has water of crystallization you can check cso4 dot xh2 10 grams and hydrous copper sulfate 6.4 gram left write the formula here you should not take as element you should take uh, the column as molecule what are the molecules here and hydrous copper sulfate and water so you just have to find how much percent of water is there so if you take molecule instead of mo atomic mass you will have molecular mass find molecular mass of copper sulfate and water so copper molecular uh, i will give you the molecular masses directly uh, for copper it is uh, sorry copper sulfate and hydrous 159.5 and for water it is 18 then uh, you find the mole molar ratio like atomic ratio this is molar ratio so molecular mass is there mass you have to find to get the molar ratio you should know the mass so first you write the mass here mass anhydrous see this is crystal 10 minus sorry and it's already given 6.4 grams and uh, for anhydrous 6.4 and water should be 10 minus 6.4 so how much you will get 10 minus 6.4 if you do 3.6 so then find the molar ratio how you will do mass divided by molecular mass 6.4 by 159.5 this is 3.6 by 18 so if you solve this you will get 0.04 this is 0.2 so simple ratio you will get simple ratio you will get among these two 0.04 is smaller so 0.04 divided by 0.04 is 1 this 0.2 by this means you will get 5 so x value should be 5 so the molecular formula is cso4 dot 5h2o which is uh, blue vitriol right so that is the thing so there are a couple of questions these kind of questions will also come here you not to calculate any much 
they have given here empirical formula is a b2 and one more information they have given its vapor density is equal to its empirical formula weight find molecular formula so to find molecular formula you need n value to find n value you need molecular mass so first thing molecular mass is what vapor density is given so two times vapor density but vapor density is equal to how much empirical formula weight we don't know what is that i will write it empirical formula weight only now n value how we will find molecular mass which is two times empirical formula weight divided by empirical formula weight so cancel it so what do you got two so n is equal to two means your molecular formula should be a to b4 right simply simply you can try the second one also a b and this time vapor density is three times empirical formula weight so again n will become molecular weight molecular weight was what two times vapor density two times vapor density is three into empirical formula weight so divided by empirical formula weight so you will get n is equal to six so the formula you should get a six b six okay so this is about percentage composition empirical formula and molecular formula in the next session we will learn about gay lussac's law and some numerical on that until then take care bye bye